Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer review. Today's game we got on the tabletop is called Flanks. Flanks is a two player dexterity game that takes about one to five minutes. And in the game, Flanks, you're going to be playing as one to two, one of two different colors. You've got white and you've got black. You're going to take your deck of cards here, you're going to shuffle it all up, you're going to draw three, placing them down, and then you're going to try and start a matching not only color but also sides to try and get behind your opponent, trying to flank them. If you can flank your opponent before they do because it's a dexterity game, you're going to win. However, if it ends up to where the table just gets completely full of cards and nobody wins, or both sides of the table is now completely full, the game's going to end up in a tie and you can just go ahead and play again. Anyway, I know it sounds a little weird, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like and a little bit of how to play too down below. So here we have flanks and what you're going to get, you're going to take this box, open it up and it's going to come with two different decks and they're basically like tiles. You've got your white and you've got your black and of course you've got your rule book which explains the game but you're not going to need that because I'm going to tell you how to play right now. In the game you're going to take and make sure you shuffle these up, give one player the white, give one player the black and then in the middle of the table you're going to have a player place down one of these guys here. Make sure you place it so it looks like this and then the next player is going to then take the deck until they get a card that matches, matching being like this. How, see how they connect to make a straight line. That is how you know they connect going this way. Now you're going to take the rest of these cards here and you're going to draw three of them without looking and you're going to take the three cards over here from the other player and they're going to draw three without looking. Now in the game there's a couple simple rules. The first rule of the game is whenever you're playing on a side you have to match the color. There's two types of colors. You're going to have green and you're going to have pink. Whenever you're playing a card that is going to be facing one of these ways you need to make sure that it matches the side here. For instance if I wanted to play here I would obviously have to play this like this to connect it. Another rule of the game is you can only play in two different spaces at any given point. And not only that, but when you play, you have to make sure that your piece not only connects with your own piece, but also connects with your opponent's piece. Meaning that it has to touch either on the side here or on one of the main sides. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. So currently right now, the only two places it can be played for the white player is here and here. The only two places it can be played for the black player is here and here. You can't play here for black because it doesn't touch the white piece. And you can't play here for white because it doesn't touch the black, black piece. Once the game gets started, somebody in the audience will go blanks, and then both players are going to take their hand and then they're going to start placing cards down. Your objective, of course, is to place cards behind your opponent's piece. If you can get behind your opponent's piece, you're going to win the game. Um, you can do it like that, or you can go do it like this. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but you have to follow all of the given rules. It is a dexterity game, so at any point you can go ahead and discard your hand to draw three new cards, or you can choose to discard one and draw new ones. It's up to you how you want to do that. Let's go ahead and show you really quick. Another thing you need to know is that it's a tie if it ever gets past the line of sight for you guys, or it's a tie if it hits the edges of the table. Well, I've got my uh, friend here, Grant. He's going to go ahead and help us out with explaining how, uh, showing you how it works. On the count of three, we're going to do three, two, one, and flanks. So we're going to go ahead and look at our cards here. Ooh, he's placing them like that. I don't have anything to deal with that, but I can place this here. All right, which one am I going to do? These cards are no good, so I'm going to discard them. I draw three new cards here. Uh, this one will work. See, I've lined it up. The color matches, and this is actually a symbol that matches as well. And I can play that here. Oh, he got me there first, so I have to go ahead and try something else. How about... These both are no good for me. I'm going to draw new ones. Try and stop him from beating me here. Here's one that matches just like that. These cards I don't need. And... Ooh, another card here. He's getting he's getting crazy. Let's see if I can... Uh-oh. I'll put that like there. Too late. Gotcha. Uh, we're trying to get behind the players now. Remember, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult if you don't uh, know how what you're doing, even when you do know. Ah, he got me there. Bam. Play that like that. Uh, play that like that. Oh, getting there, getting somewhere. Um, oh, that's no good for me. And so it continues just like that. I'm trying to get past him if I can. He's not going to let me, I don't think. Uh, all right. And... That one right there. And no, that doesn't work. And bam. So what happened here is I got behind him finally. Remember, you can only play in two different places, so I could only play it here or I can only play it here. Now, all at the same time, he could have been trying to go this way and get behind me this way. But as you know, he had to be defensive just trying to stop me from getting there. Uh, that's the basic idea of the game. You just, you just do that. You're going to be placing to make sure you match with color and also make sure you match the shapes. If they do not align equally, then you cannot place there. After you're done with the game, you're going to go ahead and take it and go ahead and play again if you'd like. Very, very simple. Very, very fun. Little game called Flanks. Let me tell you what I think about it.
Flanks is a simple and yet crazy dexterity game. In this little box is a ton of competitive motion. You're going to play the game very, very fast. It's very simple. You're matching colors or you're matching the sides of an angle. That's all you're doing. You have two places to play at any point in time and you need to get behind your opponent. As you saw, if I would have gotten a little too far up to the edge there, then I'm not going to be able to, t I have to go on the other side because once the border borders hit, then you can't go anywhere. You have to continue on the other side. If it happens on both sides, the game's going to end up being a draw and you're going to play again. That rarely ever happens though, and there is definitely a lot of skill in this game. You're going to have to be, you're going to start noticing pattern recognition as well as color recognition, and you're going to be placing down cards to start with. Kind of fiddly, it's kind of difficult to grasp, but as you play, the more you play, the more and more you're going to understand how it functions. It's kind of like Simon says, right? As you first start picking that game up, pushing the different colors based on the pattern, you start to realize how it functions and you're going to start getting better and better. And, and it, it is really nice because it has this like learning feel to it. Uh, I want to say it's like spatial, like referencing or something like that. Some kind of cool, crazy, uh, <laughs> long word, but it's, it's very, very simple. The dexterity of it is either going to be a win or a lose for you. And it's two players. So if you want a game that's quick, two players and a filler, maybe it's you and your buddy waiting for your friends to get home from get, get to get home to play some game night stuff, uh, then it's going to be good. Or if you're just simply playing some more random, uh, restaurant tables, that kind of stuff, this is definitely one of those games you can just pick up and play. The box is super, super small and it fits nicely. We're actually giving away on the website. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and try and win it there but it has everything nice and easy the components are okay the colors are cool it's, it can make some really great photos um so that's it the positives are simply if you like dexterity uh the components are all nice colors uh, if you enjoy two-player games and then of course the negatives are going to be if you don't like dexterity if you're not uh, a fan of trying to put the shapes and the colors and all that kind of stuff you're probably not going to enjoy that aspect of the game I don't know how it works for colorblind people. It's only two colors though, uh, other than black and white. So you have to probably tell me in the comments below. But I think most players are gonna know if they're gonna enjoy this game just based off of the little explanation I gave. Um, overall, it's fun. I really enjoy this game. I've pulled it out at many, many different conventions. I pulled out a couple shows. I've uh, had a big had a big box of these guys that I was just giving away for fun. The uh, the designers sent me a box and just asked me to go ahead and play it and whatnot. So what I did was I would go out and I would just sit down with somebody, teach them how to play it at a, a tabletop takeover event. And if they beat me, I'd give them a copy of the game. I'm not very good at the game. So people would end up getting really competitive to try and beat me. And they, they ended up taking a couple copies away from me. So um, yeah, anyway, that's the basic idea of Flanks. If you're interested, check out in the comment section below in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.